Hey, what's happening guys? What's going on? YouTube, you guys have tuned into Rules for Rebels. In today's video, we're going to be talking more about this Joe Rogan drama. I made a video about this, uh, I don't know, maybe a week or two back, uh, but the drama seems to continue. You know, it's kind of interesting. Obviously, Joe Rogan is hugely popular. He has the most popular podcast in the world, uh, and that's why Spotify gave him $100 million to come over Spotify. And it's actually looking like he made a pretty good move. You know, initially, a lot of people, myself included, were kind of critical of him leaving YouTube and going over to Spotify. He seemed to kind of have his own independent thing over at YouTube. But, you know, YouTube's always been known for censoring people, and that's really gotten worse in the past two years. Um, and so at least with Spotify, he has a contract. Um, and Spotify, for the most part, has kind of left him alone. But uh, ever since he's gone over to Spotify, it has been nothing but drama. Uh, right when he went over to Spotify, a lot of Spotify staff uh, were wanting to censor podcasts, take down certain podcasts that they found uh, offensive. And it's only continued to get worse since then. I, you know, I don't listen to the Joe Rogan podcast nearly as much as I used to. Um, you know, I'll admit it is a lot of the same thing over and over and over these days. Um, you know, the variety of guests isn't uh, as good as it used to be. Um, and also, I think partly because it's no longer on YouTube, which is just a platform that's on my phone and I'm always on. Really, the only thing I use Spotify for is listening to Joe Rogan. And so I just don't always necessarily think to go over and open up another app. Um but, you know, ever since Joe Rogan went over to Spotify, it seems to be nothing but drama. Uh, a couple weeks ago, we talked uh, we talked about, and I think you guys have probably heard about, uh, the big, you know, hubbub about, you know, 270 doctors have signed a letter calling on Spotify to take down Joe Rogan. Uh, that made all the mainstream media news. It was a big story. You know, what are all these doctors calling on, on Spotify to cancel Joe Rogan for? And, uh, you know, it turned out that was kind of a big hoax. Out of the 270 doctors, which in the grand scheme of things is a pretty small number, out of the 270 doctors calling for Spotify to take down Joe Rogan, it turns out less than 100 of them were actually doctors. Uh, a lot of them were professors. Uh, a lot of them were PhDs, but not practicing doctors or licensed doctors. Uh, some of them were nurses, and a lot of them were actually podcasters. Uh, literally, a lot of these people who signed this were science podcasters, ran YouTube channels about science. You know, it's funny when people say, listen to the doctors, listen to the science, don't listen to Joe Rogan, he's not a doctor, uh, but everybody wants to pay attention to 270 uh, podcasters and professors. Uh, calling on Joe Rogan to be taken down. You know, we, we hear this word misinformation thrown around a lot. One thing you'll notice about all the people calling for Joe Rogan to be taken down, none of them actually give any concrete examples of what misinformation is being shared. It's just kind of this blanket term misinformation. Uh, you know, we've, we've learned already, you know, we saw Facebook uh, was actually kind of collaborating with the White House to take down misinformation. Uh, Facebook and a lot of social media got these fact checkers. It was just a few weeks ago that Facebook apologized for the fact that their fact checkers are sharing opinions, not actually facts. So we can't even trust uh, the fact checkers. And also a lot of the quote unquote misinformation, a lot of things that would have gotten you thrown off social media uh, over the past two years has wound up turning out to be true. Uh, so, you know, you might think we might want to be a little bit more careful about censoring people. Uh, also, you know, there, there's a great quote that I love. It, it's something to the effect of, I'm probably going to butcher the quote, uh, but it's when you cut out a man's tongue, you don't prove him a liar. You only prove that you're afraid of what he has to say. Uh, well, the, uh, the Joe Rogan drama continues again, and this one's actually kind of funny. Uh, Neil Young, the uh, Canadian-American songwriter, uh, I think it was, it was on Twitter. He wrote a, an open letter to Spotify. Uh, but he throws a tantrum over Joe Rogan and says, it's either Spotify or him. You can't have them both. Now, if we, if we think about who subscribes to Spotify, who uses Spotify, uh, you know, Neil Young had a couple good songs. Um, I couldn't tell you them off the top of, off the top of my head. Uh, but I do know he did have a couple good songs over the years. Uh, but the vast majority of people who listen to Neil Young are probably listening to records or CDs. Uh, you know, Spotify's audience tends to skew younger. Uh, fans of Neil Young tend to skew older. And obviously Joe Rogan is way, way, way more popular, uh, than, um, Neil Young, especially amongst Spotify's audience. Uh, what I thought was kind of funny here is even the Daily Show and uh, Trevor Noah, 
uh, who's you know very very far left says Neil Young is going to regret this when his monthly Spotify checks for a dollar thirty seven uh, stop rolling in. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a quick video. I'll try not to keep you guys too long. Uh, but you know we talked about this story already. I figured we pro provide a little bit of follow up. Uh, this one comes to us from Zero Hedge. It's him or me. Neil Young throws tantrum over Joe Rogan. Demands Spotify remove his songs. Canadian American songwriter uh, and seventies per performer Neil. Pervicle Young has taken a stand against free speech, demanding Spotify pull his entire music catalog from their platform unless they silence the podcaster Joe Rogan for spreading fake information uh, about the things in your arm. I don't even know why I bother trying to be careful about what, what, what I say. Uh, I'm sure most of these types of videos are kind of shadow banned anyways. What's kind of interesting, a couple years ago, Neil Young did like a, a free speech, don't censor people, don't silence people tour. Um, and now he's calling on censoring Joe Rogan. In an email to Warner Records, Young said Spotify has a responsibility to mitigate the spread of misinformation on its platform, adding, I want to let Spotify know immediately today that I want all my music off their platform. They can have Joe Rogan or Young, not both, uh, the raging liberal wrote. Uh, here's a tweet about it. Um, Young's letter was a response to a December podcast in which Rogan interviewed uh, Dr. Robert Malone, a controversial virologist uh, who researched messenger RNA and is now skeptical of them. On the pad podcast, Malone told Rogan that U.S. hospitals are financially incentivized to falsely report deaths as being caused by COVID coronavirus. Rogan has also, on his podcast, encouraged young healthy people not to get the COVID-19 vaccine. Um, I'm going to kind of tread carefully in what I say here, but recently some information has come out uh, about the number of people who either died or were admitted to hospitals uh, because of COVID or with COVID. And, you know, the, the numbers are pretty astounding. Um, you know, we, we hear the number 800,000, 800,000 or millions of people worldwide. Uh, that 800,000 uh, from the numbers I've seen has been trimmed down to a little over 50,000 when, when we're talking about uh, died from COVID as, as opposed to died with COVID or was hospitalized from COVID as opposed to with COVID. Uh, Rogan notably inked a deal with Spotify in May of 2020 worth more than $100 million. Four months later, Spotify employees threatened to strike unless the company agreed to remove past Rogan podcast episodes with controversial guests and give employees direct editorial oversight over the Joe Rogan Experience podcast. This did not happen, although Spotify has actually taken down a number of the old podcasts. Uh, that would include the ability to directly edit or remove sections of upcoming interviews or block upcoming episodes deemed problematic. The employees also demanded the ability to add trigger warnings, corrections, and references to fact-checked articles on topics discussed by Rogan in the course of his multi-hour discussions, according to Digital Music News. Hilariously, Spotify never brought it up with Rogan. Uh, Neil Young is going to regret this when his uh, $1.37... Uh, check stop rolling in. Let's see. Okay, so it looks like that's the article. Okay, so I figured we'd head over to uh, to Twitter and take a look at this tweet from uh, Trevor Noah of The Daily Show, uh, where he says Neil Young is re going to regret this when his monthly Spotify checks for $1.37 stop rolling. And, you know, one kind of interesting thing, I, I forget who it was. I don't know if it was like 2 Chains or T-Pain. It was some kind of older kind of forgotten about artists, but recently posted about how much money or how many plays they would have to get on various streaming services um, in order to, I think it was make a dollar. Spotify was one of the worst ones out of all of them. Uh, you know, feel free to Google that. It was kind of interesting. I, I don't have it in front of me right now. Uh, but let's see what, what kind of Twitter's response is uh, to this. Also, just kind of an interesting thing about Neil Young. Um, I believe he's tried to exercise a lot of control. He, he's been very outspoken against streaming services. And in fairness, streaming services aren't that fair to artists. Uh, but I believe his ex-wife owns like half or more of his catalog. So I don't even know if he'd have the ability uh, to keep his music off Spotify in the first place. Uh, Raylan Davis crying. Spotify pays the least. It's probably a lot less. And that's kind of what, what I was referring to, what they pay per uh, per stream. Uh, Neil Young is a polio survivor. I think it's just a commentary on Spotify's miserable uh, pay per play rate for musicians. When will they just straight up write $400 million checks to Joe Rogan? Uh, not one of your best jokes. So Rob Wagner's upset about this. He's also got uh, two masks and four flags uh, in his bio. 
Uh, perhaps it will start a movement to inspire others. Uh, I guess inspire others to remove their music from Spotify if they don't cancel Joe Rogan. Uh, Joe Rogan has created a crowdfunder for Neil. Uh, exactly. He has nothing to lo lose. Proud of him for taking a stand. Hope he influences other artists to take a stand as well. You know, what is with it that, pe you know, if you don't like Joe, Ro Joe Rogan, don't listen to him. If you feel like Joe Rogan is spreading misinformation, start your own blog, start your own podcast, start a YouTube channel and, uh, you know, provide documentation proving where Joe Rogan's wrong. And don't just throw out a blanket term of misinformation, but actually pick out things that Joe Rogan has said or that his guests have said that are, are factually untrue. Back it up with evidence and, uh, you know, you can uh, do some good there if, if that's what you think. Uh, his hot wife can bring in her royalty checks to compensate. Obviously, that's referring to uh, his wife owning half of his catalog. Uh, rock and roll Hall of Famer and polio survivor might just know something about what vaccines can do. Uh, Neil Young has good music. I like him better than Joe Rogan. Uh, damn, Trevor, not your best work. I have never once listened to Joe Rogan. I couldn't tell you how many times I've listened to Harvest Moon. Um, I think you missed the joke. I laughed because it's true. Uh, you're allowed to tell jokes. We are allowed to tell you they aren't funny. Never underestimate the power of symbolic gestures. Uh, did you get the joke? Uh, you think people listen to him? You think enough people listen to him for him to get $1.37 a month? Uh, then he'll literally be rocking in the free world. Fire alongside your Crenshaw isn't so bad. Uh, which artists take the albums? By Han checks. Hey, don't be talking smack. It's a gesture. It's a thought that counts. Uh, jokes going over your head. He's obviously not a Republican. They will solve the country over their job. Thank you, Neil. Uh, it will be the artist that generates the most profit for Spotify. Capitalism knows no boundaries. Not funny. Neil Young is a great artist. I thought it was funny. And yes, Neil Young is a great artist. But yeah, all the jokes don't have to be funny to everyone. Uh, once more, I remember why I love Neil Young. Yeah, okay. So I don't know. That, that, that's enough of that. Uh, anyhow, let me know your guys' thoughts about this. What do you think about censorship as a whole? Uh, what do you think about the, the blanket term misinformation being thrown around? Do you think people should be censored? Uh, is there ever a good reason to censor people? Uh, who do you think Spotify is going to side with here? Any other thoughts you have, I'd love to hear them. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. If you're not subscribed to the channel, click that subscribe button bell down below. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later, guys.